Hello friends, this is Venu. In this video, I will explain about Spark R. Spark are very very hot and most of the companies are also looking for Spark R developers. It's very 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 powerful and also you will get huge packages. Okay, that's why I will explain about Spark R. First of all, enter R. There is, I do, uh, there is no R language in my local system. That's why you got this error. That's why what should you do? Simple. I have already prepared this documentation for you. Please go through it. Simply copy all this command. Simply run it. Otherwise, it is also suggesting please run this command. Copy and paste here. Okay. Otherwise, simply open this one. Uh, run uh, software foundation and you can find there also okay enter the password here okay required some space that's why enter y okay it take little time i am holding this video temporarily please wait okay fine buddy after a long long time it's uh, completely installed atj okay now you can run r then you are in R shell. Okay, but in Windows you will get you have some U, uh, user interface, but in Ubuntu there is no UI. That's why I highly recommend install R Studio. Okay. Okay. And please note if you install this one, uh, it is latest version only 2016. Otherwise, it is 2013 or 2014. You have to run these three commands also. Okay? It is 2016 5.3, latest version of the it is. It is 3.3.0. Okay? But, in case old version, run these three commands. Don't forget. And fine, in case if you don't want, simply run, uh, uninstall, run these commands. Okay? Now, how to install R Studios? Simply, go to this thing ok my internet is too slow I have already downloaded wait I will show you um, download and Ah, this is our studio. Simply click on this thing. Automatically, it's pop up. Open, it is open in this R studio. It's opening. The, it's pop up this open software center. Simply click on install. Otherwise, if you want to run in uh, CLI mode, simply. Where it is downloaded, go to download okay. Simply build this now. Simply run this command R Studio okay. You must have pseudo privileges, that's why. Then wait 5 minutes. Within these 5 minutes, it's automatically installed this R Studio. As of now, there is no R Studio R Studio. Okay? R just now installed, that's why you, all, you got this R console. This is R console. Okay, just now it's installed. That's why you got it. Okay, the setting and process is take little time, not more than five minutes. I'm holding this video temporarily. Okay, fine. Our studio also installed successfully. Okay. 
Okay. Now R Studio installed. That's why you got it. Okay. Now R and R Studio successfully installed. If you got something error, run this command. C L I mode. If you didn't, if you face something problem here, simply run this command. The main is this dependency issue. It is okay. Then what next? Uh, actually, to uh, actually the purpose of this video is I am explaining about Spark R. That's why you have to install these libraries. It is R packages. Okay. That's why what should you do? Go to this link and paste these links. Enter. Select little tag. It is nothing but R JSON. Okay. Oh, my internet connection is too slow. That's why I think wait few minutes. And run this. Yes, it's already installed. Okay, check. Okay, so our main task is completed. Okay, in my next video, I will explain about Spark R, a sample programs. Spark uh, that means now you can run any R Hadoop programs or R Spark programs. Okay, the main business, these dependencies installed. R C P P R J S N R S N O etc etc everything. Okay. I hope this documentation also useful for you. I am pasting this documentation in my YouTube channel description. Please go to it. And in my next video, I will explain Spark R that is and how to run Spark SQL queries and how to process CSV data, JSON data, or XML data. Everything whatever it may be. Okay, and I will explain in my next video. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. If you have any doubts, please comment below. Thank you, bye bye.